Today we're going to talk a little bit about chipping distance control. Now, a lot of players will often tell me that they struggle with their chipping, and when I start to ask them questions around how far their chip shots go, they kind of usually give me a puzzled look like, well, I don't know, I just kind of look, aim, and fire. And I think that that highlights a huge opportunity for players to start to understand a little bit around if we build out just a couple simple ideas on how far our chips actually go, what club to use, how big of a swing to make, and actually pay attention how far they go, I believe that that can obviously improve the way we can chip. The equivalent would be if you were to go on the golf course and there was no yardage markers and there was no range finders, how far would you be able to hit your nine iron? We wouldn't know. That's what we're gonna talk about today. So first things first that I think is super important when we're at, at the practice chipping green is actually knowing how far away we are from certain targets. So what you'll see right now, there's several little discs on the ground. And what I have is I have a disc at 10 yards, 15 yards, 20 yards, 25 yards, and then 30 yards. The reason why those are there is as I'm going to hit these shots, I'm actually going to be able to see what yardage they land at and what yards they roll out to. The next question or next thing that we'll dive into is how big of a swing should we make? So what I most commonly see with players when we struggle with contact is long swings that decelerate. We hit behind it, we chunk it or skull it, our body is hanging back. Those are all very common things that I see. And in a previous video, the quick little breakdown that I'll give you to remind you on how I like to hit these standard type shots is our stance width is going to be about one club head apart. So a narrow stance with the ball forward in our stance, so playing off of our big toe. And then we fall onto 60 or 70% on our front foot. And then now from there, the driver of the swing is going to feel like we're rotating our rib cage around that front foot. If you want a deeper breakdown into how I break down these four pieces, hit a golf shot, I'll put a link in the description below to take you back to that video. But today we're talking more about distance control. So assuming we have an appropriate technique, now we've got to start to figure out how far these balls go. And what I'll see happen often with the players, the player will come through and they'll hit their first shot and they'll see it land. And let's say that one landed around 14 yards and then they'll come through and they'll hit their next shot and they'll do that. And then they'll come through after that and they'll hit their next shot and they do that, where that shot probably carried almost 25 yards. If you go back and look at those three things, the number one thing that was different, the length of swing and the speed was wildly different in all three. That first one was very long and slow that second one was long and decelerated. And then that third one was big and fast. Oftentimes we don't consider how we're gonna hit this chip shot, we just do it. And then we're upset with the result. Hey, here's a little secret. Every week I send an email on Thursday mornings that gives you three things. It gives you one golf tip, it gives you one quote or stat, and gives you one little extra to help you play better golf and practice more effectively. To sign up, there's a link in my description. Make sure you get signed up, because on Thursday morning, the next one's coming. The number one thing we have to do is we have to take control over the length of our swing and the power that we provide. So in this exercise, in developing how far our wedges go, I've got a 54 degree wedge and right now I'm gonna pick a length of swing. Oftentimes I'll hear players talk about half swings kind of being let's say hip high to hip high. I hear players talk about three quarter swings, let's say going from arm parallel to arm parallel. And then the real short ones, let's call them quarter swings, kind of going from knee high to knee high. I don't care what you call them, you could call them hip to hip, arm to arm, knee to knee, quarters, halves, 16th of an inch, I don't care. But I want you to pick something. I need you to develop a system in your mind. 
for me a shot that I'm gonna develop or that I'm gonna work you through today is a, I'm gonna use my 54 degree wedge and I'm gonna to try to make swings that are hip high to hip high, okay? I own a tripod and what I would do is I would set it up so I'm in the face on position and I would actually record myself so that I can go through and check to see if I'm actually making swings that are the length that I believe they are. I bet you if you were to go through and watch yourself hit shots, your length of swing is always gonna be longer than you initially believe. That can lead to a lot of deceleration in your golf swing and I think is a root cause for so many players. So, I've got my 54 degree wedge, I make acceptable contact, let's start working on distance control. I'm gonna make two rehearsal swings where I'm gonna feel as if I'm going hip high to hip high. And now with no care about where the golf ball goes distance wise, I'm gonna go through my setup and I'm gonna make a shot and I'm gonna hold my finish. So two things I'm gonna do. So the first thing I stopped to see where my club ended and I was content with where it stopped. And now I look at where that shot landed. That shot landed approximately 14 yards because I have the disc there, 14 yards of carry and rolled out to what looks like about 22 yards total, okay? So 14 and 22, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna get set up, I'm gonna make my rehearsal swings hip high to hip high. And I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna go hip high to hip high. I'm gonna hold my finish. So that one there, I notice it came out a little bit lower. That one carried about 16 yards. We're gonna do it again. I'm gonna make my rehearsal, hip high to hip high. I've got my setup. Oops, I didn't catch that one very good. And that one carried around 13 yards. Just gonna hit one more here for you. So I get my setup, get my rehearsal, hip high to hip high. Now I'm gonna hit one. And that one carried around 14 and ran out to 22. So I hit four shots for you there. My carries were 14, 14, 16, and 13. I didn't necessarily hit all of them glamorous, but it doesn't take long to figure out with my 54 degree wedge, when I make a swing that's around hip to hip, I can say with quite a bit of confidence right now, it's gonna go kind of 14, 15 yards as an average. If I were to go through this 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, that average is gonna grow. But what I have right now is I have a known number. I go out on the golf course right now and I've missed a green. And let's say that I have 20 yards to the pin. I already know I'm grabbing my 54 degree and I'm going hip high to hip high because it's landing around 14 or 15, rolling out to 21 or 22 yards. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I just have a quick favor to ask. Can you make sure that you subscribe to this channel Always like my videos and make sure you hit that little bell to make sure that you get notifications when I drop more videos just like this. And as always, if you ever have any questions, please post them in the comments down below. I respond to every comment. Now back to your video. So what we would do next is now we grab our next wedge. So I grab my 58 degree wedge. I really personally like the hip high to hip high swing. Now I'm gonna do it with a different wedge. So I'm gonna set myself up here. I have my 58 degree. We would assume this is gonna go shorter. I make my two rehearsals. I go hip high to hip high. I get my good setup. I execute a shot. I hold my finish. And that one looks like it landed around 12 yards and stopped at about 16 yards. We're gonna do it again. Again, I'm gonna go through my routine here for length of backswing. I get my setup. I'm going to go hip high to hip high. Hold my finish. I caught it a little bit heavy. That one landed at nine, rolled out to about 13. I'm going to find myself a decent patch of grass here. I'm going to go through this again. Hip high to hip high. That one landed around 12, rolled out to 16. And you can already tell here, I'm starting to get a pretty good idea just by having an awareness on where these discs are. That one there I caught a little bit heavy. It's gonna carry about nine. 
I've hit 454 degrees, I've hit 458 degrees. I have an idea already that if I went out on golf course right now and I was 20 yards away, and if I have 14 yards of, of green, or at least I know I can carry it 14 yards, I'm grabbing my 54 degree 100%. I didn't hit two of those that good with the 58, but I'm already starting an idea that my carry would be around 11, 12 yards with about 16 yards total. This just took us a couple of minutes to go through. Imagine if you went through this with all three of your wedges once a month. Hit 10 balls with each wedge and develop a length of swing. Give yourself some markers on how far away you are and see how far those golf shots go. What you're building is what's called a wedge matrix. I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can click and I'm gonna show you my wedge matrix. But essentially the way that I can summarize it, grab a club, make a length of swing, record the carry yardage. And let's say you start to do it from three lengths of swing. You have your quarter swing, you have your half swing, and you have your three quarter swing. That's three with three wedges you can very quickly come up with nine yardages that you're gonna have an idea in your mind. Okay, I have to hit a shot that carries this far. Okay, I know it's this wedge and this length of swing. Now this is a starting point. I know that there's always other levels and more complex shots and different things like that. But if you struggle with your short game and specifically your distance control, I want you to spend a little bit of time knowing how far certain targets are hitting some shots with a length of swing that you know, I have to emphasize that, and record how far your carry distance is. Start building your wedge matrix, start understanding your numbers a little bit better, and start hitting chips closer to the hole more often. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. If you have any questions in the comments, please ask them, I always love answering them. And I have some, uh, some things for you in the description, the wedge matrix, and also the link to my setup video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.